Hey guys, sorry I didn't get the video sent out to you yesterday. Uh, busy with some, some other things coming up, obviously the conference call. So I'm trying to get it out today. Obviously you can see the weather's not great, so I brought a flashlight in preparation for needing one inside the home. Um, as you can see, we have the columns up. We haven't painted them yet. Uh, the pine tree is still there, but I'm going to talk to Robert as soon as I can get a hold of him. I call him, I'll him a voicemail, he'll give me a call back. Um, and I'll send him an email as well. I don't think that he can pull it out yet. It'll probably be uh, the week that you guys are down here for closing before he can pull it, because I know he has to have that final inspection before he can touch that pine tree. So, anyway, walking into the home, um, we do have some of your flooring in, the countertops in. The flooring that we do have in is going to be the tile flooring in the kitchen and the bathrooms and all that fun stuff. Uh, all your wet areas, except for the foyer. I think you guys have engineered wood in the foyer. Uh, this is your countertops. They're still drying, so I can't touch them a whole lot, but I can let you see what they look like. Your opening for your sink, um, your cabinets with your countertops. Like I said, they're still setting to dry. They do have the framework up for your fireplace. Uh, they just haven't painted it yet. And then this is your tile. It's a little dirty, so it won't quite look like this. I mean, once I get it clean, it'll look a lot better, but this is your tile. Pantry with the uh, shelves in. I can't remember if they were in last time I took the video or not. Um, I'll look around the kitchen. And you get a look back into your living room with your fireplace. And I'll take you outside again to look at the porch. Just to say I did. Sorry. View from the back door or on the porch. We'll step outside. Take a look from the back of the home. And I'll go back in and finish the rest of the home. Chimney for your fireplace, your vents on the top of your roof, the little black things are actually your vents. Look into your dining room, this is your island that will be in the center of your kitchen, but I'm going to wait till the, uh, the granite and everything dries and gets set and the flooring. It's going to go right there where you see the electrical wall wiring. It'll come out underneath into the island. Your electrical outlet should be on the other side. Yep, that's where your electrical outlet will go for your island. We're going to walk back into the master suite. It's a little bit brighter in here. The tray ceiling, they're not done uh, painting your mold. I don't know if you can see the mold is a different color. It's a little bit harder to understand. That's your crown molding inside the tray ceiling, which they'll paint white. Going into your master suite, where you've got your cultured marble countertop. For some reason, I have a problem saying that word the last couple of days. Cultured marble. All right. Well, light didn't really help very much. Um, this is your walk-in closet in the master bathroom. Maybe I need to get some new batteries. Um, Tub, which obviously has some debris in it, but they still have to clean it up and everything. Your shower, and this is where your water closet will be and your toilet will be down there. And of course, linen closet with shelves. Alright, we'll go back this way. Going into the laundry room. I did bring a flashlight, but as you can see, it's not helping a whole lot. Um, dryer, washer, access to the garage. And even though you can't see a whole lot, it's just your garage, but they've got some of the boxes, I believe, from your appliances in here. It's a little hard with even with the flashlight. Wow, this is horrific. I need to get a new flashlight. Your water heater will be over there in the corner. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it will be over there in the corner. Go back into the rest of the home. That's the hole that I told you about that would be cut open the rest of the way for the uh, 
your vent on your AC unit. This is bedroom, I believe it's called bedroom number four. The closet for bedroom number four. So again, your large four foot by six foot uh, windows to the front of the home. And then bedroom number three. The closet for bedroom number three. Already got the shelving in there. Bath number two. So I've got the shower and the cultured marble countertops on that. And sorry, that's my phone. Um, this is bedroom number two. Um, your two closets. Your uh, concrete you're referring to will be out here. I've already told them, but we didn't tell them until last night. I didn't get an exact location on it for them till last night, so it probably won't be until later on this week that we get it put in. Um, but I did give them the drawings that you gave me and everything from there. And went over it again with uh, the Vice President of Construction, uh, Jeff Michaud, that we talked to last night. Um, this is the room here. And the living room. Please, once again, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to walk back outside to give you another front view of the home again. Um, like I said, they do have your pillars up. They just haven't painted them yet. Nice big open patio. That will be a ceiling fan, light fixture, ceiling fan, and of course the walls. The view from your front door over the front of the yard. Um, we just recently wrote a contract, so you will have neighbors next door to you. garage door, which I don't know if you guys saw that last time, I believe not. This is your garage door. And then your side, where your cable, uh, phone lines, and your power breaker will all be outside here externally on this side. And that's it guys. Obviously your brick mailbox up front, which I took a picture of to show you. And if you have any questions, or need any help with anything, please just let me know. You guys have a good weekend.